Hi, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And we're gonna get into this right away. And we're gonna look at Eddie Lacy's, an Eddie Lacy run that I think, and we both think, kind of um, summarizes what's going on with him and why mm -hmm. things aren't going the way he wants. So we basically have a, a one back set, I formation. Um, Lions are in a typical four man front. And you've got guys blocking like this. Uh, Traditional believe, zone blocking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got this guy linebacker up here and this guy watching there. And Lacey's going to take it this way. So yep. um, I'll let you take the rest of it. Tell us what happens here, why you have Richard well, Rodgers in <laughs> red there. It's never good being red. It's just not. He just gets dominated to the point of attack time to where it makes the read for the running backs a little different. Because in practice, and what the coaches tell you, when you get the ball in this stretch play here, you should be able to get, you know, outside the tackle before you get any pressure. But he was just dominated right here. And when this guy dominated here, now these holes, they started to change up while they're in different colors. Because right. at one point, Lacey said, wait, wait a minute. I can cut right here and make – there's a lane right there. Mm -hmm. And then, there. next thing you know, he's thinking, you know, and everybody's starting to pressure up here. So, and another thing, he got a, another lane right here. Right through This there. was the first – this was the first That's the line. first lane right there. So, he's going here and – Looks there. Sit, maybe he can go in there. Sitting has come out to block right. Tulloch because it's going this way. Yep. It's a, it's a quick opening, but if he takes it, he probably gets himself three or four yards. Right. Levy is on the way over there. Lindsley is late getting to that block. If he takes this one, which is the second one, he possibly can get five yards if he sticks his foot in the ground and cuts through here. Possibly. Now, here's the problem with, here's the problem with this. When you come in here, uh, Tom, you got to make your, your mind up to stick your foot in the ground and go. Lacey does this. And then all of a sudden he creates another hole and try to cut back. But with this block not being made, now you got all these guys pursuing. You got a guy that big, he needs to go north and south. Yeah. The he, more he goes east and west, they're going to catch up with him. He hesitated right at, okay, so like you said, he's <laughs> yeah. got one little chance to go here and right. put his head down and get three or four yards yep. maybe. But he puts his foot down and then tries to go back outside and, and then work. Tulloch comes and, and nails him. Yeah. So it's, it's indecision. And, and what we saw from James Starks was a little bit right. different. Um, different play and different blocking scheme, but you'll get the idea here. Um, you know, so Corliss came over here to block, but Starks gets the toss right here. He gets the toss. Right there. And he right. waits for a second. I mean, yep. only a half a second. Just and a what half happens a second. during that and half And you got the floor of the defense coming. They're flying this way. Right. So what he does, Tom, he gets the ball, he reads the flow, Stis sticks his foot in the ground and makes a tough game Bam, right up there. Right up that hole. And that's the kind of excitement you saw back in 2010 when you see James Starks in there. He's going north and south. Remember, he's a big back as well. Yeah. North and south, it cuts that defense's flow off. When you go east and west, you give guys a chance to catch up to you. So I'm sure um, the, his running back coach, Sam Gash, is going to tell him, Lacey, look at this. Hit it. Yeah. You got to hit it. The more you wait in these linemen, especially if you lose that block on Rodgers, then you're going to get a lot of lost yards, two lost, three lost, and you don't want that. And, and maybe you made the right point that if they're going to go, you know, to one back or shotgun, this case, I think, in this case, they actually were in shotgun. With Starks. Right, he was in shotgun. Um, maybe they need to go with Starks. Maybe they need to have mm -hmm. John Kuhn in the game when they go with Lacey. And, yeah. and I think that's a more traditional run. And you game. can still do play action and throw the ball off of yeah. it. But I think it gives you a better power running game where you got 27 behind 30. Right. And you're going north and south. And when you want to be in the shotgun and run a power running game, you got a guy at Starks who can really don't need a guy in front of him. He doesn't need, he doesn't need a fullback. Right. He can create his own lanes and then you can run play action off of that as well. Yeah. So I think that'll really help this running game if they get 27 going north and south. Yes. And following. Following blocks, just absolutely. Just and yep. That's what he did so well last year. Is he just yep. he ran right behind mm -hmm. his blockers and right. 
got the three or four yards, I think. And I would advise Lacey to go in the meeting with the lineman and tell him where he wants to cut. Yeah. This way I wants to cut on these school blocks, his own blocking scheme. And I think you'll see him open up. Because I'm telling you, he has to be killing fantasy owners right now <laughs> because he's not getting a lot of carries and he's losing a lot of yardage at times. Yep. Okay, next we're going to look at a play with Aaron Rodgers. Okay, we talked in um, five questions about um, Aaron Rodgers focusing on Nelson, uh, Jordy Nelson, and right. this is an example of that. This was the uh, sack play, fourth and or third and five, or yep, they had a five. chance. They were in field goal range. Yes, they took a sack and weren't able to. Um, basically, once again, they got the cover two look, the two safeties. This mm -hmm. guy was kind of shading over by Nelson. No, even no disguise. Yeah, so Aaron should no know disguise. what's going to be in right, right now. Right, and. Um, it's a four-man rush. There's a little bit of a stunt here, but that's mm -hmm. no big deal. Um, and so the route's on the left side. Corliss goes this way. Mm -hmm. Devontae Adams runs a great route because yep. this guy's taking the inside from him, and he right. still manages to get inside. Right. And then Cobb sort of runs a parallel route yep. there. And then mm -hmm. why don't you show us what Jordy Nelson now, did. Jordy Nelson runs what we call a traditional seven route or a corner or a flag route. And he runs a pretty good route, but the problem is he got this guy on him. He takes the inside um, release, sells the post really good and breaks it off here. Now that route takes some time, especially when you're a bump and run. But these two guys right here, they're consumed with 87. In Aaron's progression, when he comes back, he's looking this side the whole way. Yeah. He's, he has to go through his progression because what you'll see, Quartz was wide open because Levy has to run all the way over here to cover right, him right. so he can get the first down. But if he's patient, he got caught up across this guy's face and he broke open right there. He was wide open. Yeah. Then, if say that doesn't go right, you got Devontae Allen run what we call a six route and he was wide open. This safety was really deep. So all that middle was wide open. And once you see his cover two, you got to work the middle of the field because right. you know it's a double here. Right. And Aaron's seen his coverage before, but his progression should have told him two deep safeties, okay, his man, I'm going back side. My best matchup is 18 in the slot. Oh, you know what? I just want to get the first down. Right. I'm going to throw it to quarter so he can get the first down and stay in field goal range. But what happens, as you talked about earlier, you had a game going up here with Sue, and he broke free right there and made the sack out of field goal range. Right. And there was a little bit of pressure, you know, yep. out here, but it seemed to me like there was enough protection that he could have just, you know, stepped here and there was a good lane, especially to Adams. Cobb, right. uh, you know, he was open, but this one was really Yeah, better, and, and here's a safety valve for you. Right. See how that fails? Right. Here's your guy. Yeah. Tullock, right there in front of Tullock had dropped back. He He's helping on Nelson, too. Yep. He could have dropped it right there. And, and, and to be honest with you, we won't do a lot of Aaron Rodgers plays, but we got to point out and be honest that maybe something is off a little bit with the – there's so many targets on 87 – he got to look and trust these other guys. Yeah. This because is a, Cobb had a drop, and maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. But he got to get the ball to the other guy. This is to just show a point, make a point. Absolutely. That, yeah. you know, maybe they're, they are focusing too much on. Way too Nelson. much. And you can use him almost like a decoy to where you can look here. He's covered. Go back to the side and come back to him. Yeah. Because he can, he can beat double coverage if you give him a chance and throw it to him over here. But it's got to be late. Because remember now, this offensive line isn't the best right. right now. So you can't give these guys five seconds to keep blocking. Well, you not against look. these guys. Not against I mean, them, I, right. they did a decent job pass protecting. Yeah, they protecting, did. They did a decent job. But, you know, against these guys, you, your, your clock's got to be yeah. ticking fast. But I was surprised when we went back to notice Absolutely. that Corliss was so open and Adams was so open. Because guess what, Tom? Um, Chicago runs the same defense. We'll see, huh? So... You can expect the Green Bay Packers. We should be up here next week saying that they kill Chicago in the middle of the field. <laughs> right. Or we're going to be talking about a one and three. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully not. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you next week.